at my church, uh, I went in to do some sound system uh, work because we had a hum in the system, and it ended up we had a whole network problem. That, network? Yeah. Ethernet? That, yeah, that wasn't... Um, there was some devices that were not connecting properly, and then when we tried to get into the system settings of the router, we were locked out. So there was hmm. something on the factory end of the router that because it had been so long since it logged in, yeah. it was no longer loading the admin page. So we had to factory reset Do you think everything. someone might have compromised it by any chance? I don't think it was a compromisation. Mm -hmm. um, but we have had a, a lot of technological additions to the network over oh, the last okay. year. Mm -hmm. And nobody's gone in to do maintenance just right. to clean everything up. And mm -hmm. so I think it just kind of bogged things down. Mm -hmm. um, now, is this consumer gear or professional? No, it's all consumer gear. gear. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's so just, you may know, have to church try network. turning it off and you know. on again <laughs> once in a while. Exactly. Yeah. But it's one of those things where somebody else comes along and they've got a bright idea of how they want to make things better and then oh, it sure. becomes patchwork. Mm -hmm. And so when we went to try and fix the settings in the back end, nothing was working. So we had to factory reset everything. So oh, we're talking no. IP phones, computers, debit machine, all that. Oh, so wow. It was a busy, okay. long day. Yeah, yeah I bet. So did that networking issue did it have impact on the hum that you were receiving or is this just mm. unrelated in your house no it's just totally unrelated i came in to to take care of oh, the hum okay. we had and it's like, sound oh, by cables the way, that we else not that i've ever been there where oh well i needed to check one thing and and, uh, <laughs> and then, <laughs> well, oh by the way this 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 and this are broken it was and, totally yeah. a fluke like i came in to deal be with this hum where we had electrical lines that were running up against the sound cables and i just wanted to separate them under the sound stage oh. and so then because of our debit machine there was doing a security check yeah. And it was failing because of a port in the network. Right. So they're like, oh, you know, you got to deal with this port. So I went to log in to fix the port and that I couldn't could get tough in. For diagnosis. Absolutely. Yeah. So then when I couldn't get in, I'm like, why can't I get in? What's going on? And so mm -hmm. I finally found a back end to get into the one router and it only gave me access to half the network and some of the stuff that was not connected. It was saying it was live connected. I'm like, this is ridiculous. Mm. And so mm. we finally, after about six hours, got it all figured out and, and mm. resolved. And now everything's running lickety split. Nice. And you talk about factory resetting the device to bring it back to settings that allow yeah. you to <laughs> connect in and change things. Why are you laughing? <laughs> well, I'm laughing because uh, doing that with some things actually makes it worse. How do you know so much about factory resetting? Um, Sasha gave me a call. No, it was a, a text message on yes, Sunday, Sunday warning me that there was a problem on the network. Oh. That there was a potential problem. So okay. be ready for it. Yeah. Okay, so... What was it, 5.30 the next morning? Oh, it's still a problem. <laughs> oh, guess what? It didn't go away on its own. Yeah. yeah. Which I th thought we could be a possibility. So I do reminder calls for patients that have appointments on Monday, on Sunday, because I live closest. Okay, so you right? stopped so into the office. I stopped in, but Dave and I were like on our way like through like it was stop for the calls and go because i had like a crazy amount of homework which mm. is another story <laughs> um but um I got to work and the internet was down and i thought to myself oh probably just the internet's down like it'll probably just be fine sure, yeah yeah right so i unplugged the what's that called a mo is it a modem, modem? Mm -hmm. i unplugged the modem mm -hmm. and then i plugged it back in uh -oh. And the internet was still down. This is where it, the truth comes out for what I did. Although I feel and like you know. You <clears throat> the I internet know someone did. <laughs> I don't know who. Yeah, you do. Do I? <laughs> all right, what did you do? I just did what I do at home. <laughs> you pushed all the buttons? Yeah. Oh, oh darn. No, no not no, all the buttons. Hold okay. on. Are we talking not about all that the big like, network in the back that no. I helped you set up? No. This is the. Okay. So Rogers Communications, the coaxial cable internet, yeah. has a Hytron modem. Okay. That Hytron modem is obviously in a business network. It's bridged. Right. So that it goes into a DHCP server, and that provides all the IP address. Okay. I would like to, in my defense, I wasn't the first one to touch it, because when I went in to look at it, it was upside down on the shelf. Okay. So somebody else touched it, but I also did touch it. The ghosts of Christmas past. No, well, somebody else touched it, too. So but then I took my pen, and I just... Put it in a little hole. The reset. Oh hole. my gosh, Sasha! It was <laughs> you. you. You did. It was you. Not. Okay, so 
on on devices where you see the button that says reset, <laughs> that is not the button that reboots. No, it's not. So Jeff, when you did a factory reset on your devices, you knew that you were doing a factory reset and you knew yes. how to then bring it back up to Yes. So so what happens in a case like that, Sasha? Oh, no. And for those of you Yeah, we need okay, we need to save it life for Robbie. So the <laughs> so. the modem yeah. When it comes from the um, from the internet service provider, mm -hmm. is built for home. So okay. you can plug all your computers into it, and it gives them an IP address, and it gives them access to the internet. Mm -hmm. mm. But it's insecure in that your computers are now connected directly to the internet. So how do you know that there is a, a proper firewall that's blocking certain ports? How do you know that someone's not trying to whack away at your remote desktop? Right. So that if they finally guess your password, all of a sudden they install ransomware and encrypt all your files. Right. So when a, when a professional network is set up, the modem gets bridged, which is essentially saying, okay, it allows internet connectivity to one device, but the DHCP server, which uh, it allows things to get IP addresses, is turned off, mm -hmm. and the modem acts like a dumb device. It is then connected to a proper commercial firewall. Yep. And that firewall controls what ports are allowed to be used, what devices can be connected by MAC address, oh, okay. what IP addresses are allowed to remotely connect into the network. So when you factory reset that modem, you re-enabled all the home features of the device. So now, oh, so, so at now, home, that's why it works fine. Sure, because yes. you don't have a commercial routing system, right? right? So, so <laughs> now what you have is you've got your commercial stuff yeah. that has DHCP servers and firewalls and everything else still active, but you've just activated a second DHCP server on that same network. So now you have IP address conflicts. So every time you turn on a computer, it doesn't know where am I supposed to get the IP address from. There are two servers sending out IP addresses. Uh, so now things lose communication and they can't connect. You can't get onto the internet because your in-house firewall can't get the connection because it's all messed up. Right? Right. All the bridge is gone. Because the bridge is gone. In a little well, nothing box. else was working. But, but we <sighs> say that so that you can understand yeah. what the difference is between a reboot yeah. and a reset. So yeah. a reset puts everything back to the manufacturer default. And that's not what I wanted to do. No. no. Not at all. No. But no. That wasn't my did. intention. So by my actions and my intentions oh my were totally goodness. different. So, so unfortunately, that can cause a lot of problems oh, yeah. on a network. Um, right. If you don't reboot things like your server, for example. I did sense that from your face that day. Yeah. <laughs> You did, I was no. like, I'll admit this <laughs> she didn't admit, live. She didn't admit. So that yeah. I'm not in as oh, much trouble. I know trouble. Robbie doesn't get angry when he's on the air, <laughs> when people are watching I, I him. Can, <laughs> I can just about picture what your face was like when you saw it. I can, I'm just picturing like the, oh no, oh no, no. No, no, no. We'll see no, thing, Sasha, no. From, from an IT perspective, I had to come in and I had to diagnose and figure yeah. out on an active network that, oh my gosh, the bridge is gone. Right. We have two active DHCP servers and the bridge is down. Now, was that an, like an initial thought for you? Because you left it last time. Who would ever reset the modem? Right. Okay. So <laughs> your brain doesn't naturally go there. All right. How long did it take me to fix it, Sasha? Diagnose it and fix it. 18 minutes. 18, you timed it? Well, I knew when your appointment was. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. But you were down for two days, basically. Uh, yeah. Because it was when I came in that I, that I fixed it. So. Yeah. So watch out for that button. You watch out for that button. The button and is actually, it, yeah. What it does. Yeah, so I won't do that. So, but unplugging it and plugging it back in is a safe way. That's a reboot. And yeah. that's fine. So that, if... That I will do yeah. in future. And so in this case, maybe Rogers was down for a bit. Maybe they were doing construction in the area or installing it in the neighbor's unit and they had to disconnect yours for a moment to connect everything together. Who knows, right? Yeah, exactly. So whether you would have needed to re restart the modem or not is, is hard to know. So we'll never know. We, we will never know. When you boil it down, basically what happened is... Sasha's bread wasn't toasted enough, so she brought out a flamethrower to fix it. Essentially. It was unintentional. Oh, no, it just suddenly caught on fire. My Overkill on the solution. <laughs> just wait for the internet to come up. I'm just going to reset the system. Next time, call your toaster manufacturer and ask them, <laughs> is this what I'm supposed to do? <laughs> oh. Yeah.